All right, guys, welcome back to part three of our FIFA 22 Arsenal career mode. So at the end of the last part, we had a brilliant comeback win against Spurs. We were 2-0 down after about 40 minutes, and we managed to win the game 4-2. So we need to keep that momentum going. We're down in, where is it, 14th position. So it hasn't been a good start, but hopefully that comeback win against Spurs will lift us a little bit. So it's a game here against Brighton away from home. Uh, we're going to start Tommy Yasu at right back, I think. Give him some minutes. I have tried. I have done his development plan, so hopefully it won't take too long and he'll be converted to a a right back because that's what it's, it has him down that he can play centre back and right back, but it's given the, the notification there that he's playing the wrong position. Going to start Martinelli as well. We'll throw Sacco over on the right. Have a left footer cutting in and a right footer cutting in on the left side. And we'll start the Bamiyang as well. Just want to change that kits as well. That's one thing I don't like about this game as well. One of many things. They don't seem to, they seem to clash the kits an awful lot and it can be easy to miss it. So we'll go with our yellow kit. Be able to see it a little bit more clear. But yeah, as I said, hopefully we can keep that momentum going that we got against Spurs. But thanks for the support on the first two video guy on the first two videos guys. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to keep a comment, smash that like button if you want to see more. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gallery. Yeah, we have this game against Brighton and then I think it's two home games against Palace and Aston Villa. So after the start we've had we could really do with three wins from three in this part. So let's try and do that. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And it will be an Arsenal Bit of a soft free kick. kick there, but we'll take it. Thomas. Crossing opportunity. Nobody in the That'll middle though. Bamiang is standing still. Martinelli. Oh, good save. A good save. And over comes the corner. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Easy for the goalkeeper there. Too close to him. He brings so many different skills to the table, doesn't he? Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to be tight. Ben White, today, of course, up against his former club. Was outstanding. He got his two goals, but it was his general... One thing I've noticed now playing Ultimate Team, the heading from corners, maybe oh, I've mentioned gone. it already. Like in previous FIFAs, you had to time it. Position. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, Mope. Alright, we have it back. But no, as I was saying, just I notice nearly every time I get my head on it, the player puts it a million miles over the bar. So maybe if you let me know in the comments if there's something I'm doing wrong. Like I tend to just try and time it like the previous FIFAs, but I don't know why it is, but they just seem to get under it. Even ones that fall straight down on their head. Saka. Oh, it's at the bar. Jesus, it's gone out for a corner, but maybe we'll have a chance to see what I mean here. No. Oh, oh. no there's nobody up there for Brighton and yet, thankfully, but Saka there, a really good strike, just hitting the crossbar. Jude Bellingham. Obama Young. Oh, that could get through to Saka, it has. But Saka's hit the post this time, Jesus. I think the keeper actually touched it onto the back post there. Saka blocked. I mean, I couldn't get there. So Saka with the two best chances, one off the crossbar and one off the post. Don't tell me it's going to be another one of them with those kind of games. Now the attack fizzled out. Well, as we've seen, yeah. Arsenal have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes. And have yeah, looked we've great had a lot of the ball, in fairness. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. And the electronic board showing one That's additional minute. Pass. Jesus, that shouldn't be going anywhere near the defender. That should have been inside of him. All right. And with that, the first Decent goal, first half. We played well there, but just can't find the goal at the moment. So hopefully if we keep up that momentum, keep the possession... Let's have a quick look at the stats. You can see it's 62% to, to Brighton's 38. Expected goal 0.5, but yeah, need to need to be a little bit more clinical in the second half. Promising attack this. Must be. 
Jesus Christ. Playing like Guardiola's Barcelona, just flicking it in and around corners. Not much you can do with that. Jesus, and we're behind. Probably Brighton's first really good attack as well in the score. And that's been the story of the season so far. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? <sighs> Jesus, here come Brighton again. It's their turn to hit the crossbar. Well, had that gone in, the game. And well, he keeps going. So, following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. And the referee get the ball has caught up with him following his indiscretion earlier. So, the corner played into the box. Arsenal's free kick here. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Arsenal facing Crystal Palace. Martinelli. This could it's here, Nate. Couldn't get the shot away. Fuck me, like I wasn't heading it there either, like. Jesus Christ, this game. This fucking game. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Ten minutes left for play in this match. And he takes it away. Jude Bellingham. Well, couldn't keep it. Well, we're in the dying moments of the game here, and Arsenal still narrowly behind. Time running out, Stuart. Well, their attacking play has been too slow. It's lacked penetration, and at times... Oh, the chance is on, Stuart. Oh, a goal! It's an equaliser. But we need another one. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. The draw is no good. Not against Brighton. Aubameyang All even but will it stay that way Aubameyang Can't believe it <laughs> Can't believe it We've turned it around Jesus Christ Two goals in the final what, Three or four minutes Madness Absolute madness. Well, the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Cannot and believe we've turned that around. That. Six goals and seven matches from our captain. Well, what a turnaround at the end of the game. And for the first time this season, we have back to back wins. That's a big three points, especially with two games at home to come. But Jesus, we have to be better. We really do have to be better. Now, I'm not sure we did deserve that one, to be honest. Brighton were the better team in the second half. We were the better team in the first half. I don't think we deserve to go 1 0 down, but after that, it was all Brighton until the end there. But. His build up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. The joys of being what an Arsenal fan, and I'm bringing it to life here in FIFA 22. Jesus. That man turned it around first at the end. What did he score in? Let's have a quick look at 87 and 90. Wow. Okay. Big, big win. Need to keep it going, though. All right, stunning comeback there at the end against Brighton, but we have to keep it going. As I said, two home games. We really need to win these and get three wins from three in this part. We've jumped up to 11th place from 14th, and I think a win here, judging by the table, will bring us to at least 7th position, sorry, on 12 points. Everton, Spurs, and Newcastle have all played that extra game. So, yeah, hopefully we can jump into the top 10 here comfortably. Should be 7th position at the least, maybe more. I think I'm going to start... I want to start Calvert-Lewin, but Aubameyang with the two goals at the end. Maybe we'll go with a 4-4-2. I'm not a fan of 4-4-2, but just to get them a game together. I to switch it around because it's after Tron Tierney at centre-back. Put 
with Saka in right midfield. No, we'll play Saka on the left on the left actually and we'll start Nicolas Pepe. He didn't play the last game. Party can play there, Bama Yang, Calvert Lewin. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that, I think. Leave Ramsdale in goal as well. He's done pretty well. Try and get his rating up a little bit because it is a little bit low. I thought it might be higher at the start of the game. But the pre-match chatter about Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? Mm -hmm. This is EA TV. Six goals in seven games from Aubameyang. As I said, you can see why I didn't want to drop them all together, but I do want to try and get Calvert Lewin into the team well, as well. Has been shining brightly all day. Good to see that. Continuing yeah, two two home games in a row. Really need to win the these. My name is Derek really need to win these. Sitting alongside me in the commentary position. Won't be is easy against Palace though. West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal up against Crystal Palace. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Pepe always hit the post, Jesus. We saw Saka in the last game, he hit the post twice. Or hit the crossbar and then the post, actually. It's Nicholas Pepe's turn to rattle the woodwork early on. What a start that would have been to go ahead early. For their opponents in the win against Brighton and Hove Albion. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, that was a really good result. To go away and win required a top quality performance. I oh, over the top. Is Abamian going to reach it? He is. And Abamian puts us in front. And that's why we didn't want to drop him. Seven goals now in eight Premier League games. And that is a big one. Gives us the lead. We haven't been in front in too many games this season, if any at all. Actually, I can't think back to the first first couple of games, but we are ahead in this one in the 11th minute. Lovely ball over the top and a good finish. I am starting to get grips with the game. Obviously, I've been playing a good bit of ultimate team, as I said, but. It's more the CPU at times, they just tend to turn into prime Barcelona and all this. It just bugs me sometimes, but crowded Aubameyang out of it there, but they've given it straight back to us, and why Aubameyang wouldn't make the run there, I don't know. He's made the run this time though, and he's in again. Saka, it's 2-0. It's 2-0. Hopefully from here on in now this should be a comfortable win for us. Defence to attack in a matter of seconds. And young Bakaya Saka puts us 2-0 in front. I wasn't sure the pass was going to reach him for a second but it just about had enough pace on it. 2-0 up in the first 25 minutes, that's what we needed. All about getting a bit of confidence now at this point. Oh, it's come. Oh, the card. And his weaker right foot. Good effort, but over the bar. No support, really, though. And a useful cross. And no nonsense defensive clearance. It's a free kick. Handball on the edge. What? I thought it was handball on the edge. It must have been Pepe who handballed the control in it. Thought that was going to be a free kick once again a handball. Jesus, you can see where I turned it off on penalties. And a no nonsense clearance. Well the stats don't lie. Arsenal had most of the possession and they've made good use of it. They really oh, have played some a good terrible pass. Football, like, and that should like be nowhere more. near the defender. Has the strength to should hang on to it. Nowhere near him. It has to be. And there it is. That all comes from that silly pass. Like that shouldn't be anywhere near the defender. It should have been around the back of him well, and we would have been in. The through ball is wonderfully executed. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's First time shot and all of a sudden Palace are back in it. Well, Palace are still trailing here for this game. Very much a contest. No two ways about that. Martial 
Martin Erdegaard. That was the wrong direction to go the there. Way, unfortunately. Kuyase. Mitchell. Zaha. Now delivering that deep cross. And it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Oh, what's he done there? Pepe. Oh, and this time he curls it into the corner. With the first strike of the game, he hit the post. But this time, as I said, just bends it around. And the keeper had no chance in the end. And what a goal by Nicolas Pepe. Brilliant finish. Don't know what the defender was doing there. A rare mistake, but... Ah, that's a savage finish. You're not getting anywhere near that one. No shortage of goals on this match. Not Three getting anywhere near it. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be three one at half time. Much, much better. We haven't we scored enough goals throughout minutes. the season, but we're starting to, to get a few now. Obviously, that win, those two wins against Tottenham and Brighton have given us a little bit of confidence coming from behind, but firmly in control of this now. It should be three 0 that the pass there that, that led to Palace's goal shouldn't have happened. So. Let's keep it going in the second half, try to get a few more goals, build up that confidence. And now Dominic Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin steps aside. And back inside. Oh, good save. Not a good save really. It was straight at him, but nice football there from Calvert Lewin. Still searching for his first goal. He scored in the penalty shootout Don't defeat against Leicester, but he hasn't scored a proper goal. But he was gonna be in there. But yeah, that won't be a regular occurrence now, me playing 4-4-2, I don't like that formation, so it's worked alright today, but it wouldn't be my preferred choice, Jesus, surely offside, he looked way ahead, yeah, he is offside, he was way ahead of the play there, I was thinking. But he was just offside, it was a good finish though. Alright, we can breathe again, thankfully. Oh. They've lost it. Will Hughes, Anderson, not a good pass. Oh, Saka nicked it away. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Nicola Pepe. Oh, oh is he going to get there? Defender. No, the defender just comes cuts it, it out. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more Edouard with it. They've given it away. Good tackle, but I thought it was going to be handball there for a second. And Looked like he controlled it with his hand purpose. after sliding in, but and he's got the obviously not. His opponent. And Gabriel. Touch on the way through, so a there, Guam will bring on Smith Rowe for Odegaard. And Give him a run. I really hope they change his face soon enough smith row over it comes well they couldn't take advantage of the chance promising sequence zaha really oh. vital interception oh what was that touch jesus i was trying to pass it i must have flicked the analog Position here to protect the ball it's got to be and that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Corner kick played in. Well, the keeper had a wow. lot of ground to what cover. A save. Splendid save. What a save. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. He's driven in the corner. And he's cleared his lines. And again, get it out. Well dealt with that ball comfortably. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Oh, I thought Smith was running. He just completely stopped. 
Jesus, the space was there and he stopped running. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? It ought to be the goalkeeper's ball. It's going to be a comfortable win on the end, thankfully. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. All right, three goals to one to win. No goals in the second half. Fairly uneventful, but no comments on the scorecard, as they say. All we needed was the win there, and uh, we have another home game to come. So Patrick Vieira shakes her hand. Yeah, that's three wins in a row now. And another home game coming up, as I said, against Aston Villa. If we can win that, it'll be a really, really good run of fixtures for us. So those two wins did thankfully bring us up into the top 10. We're in eighth position now, a point behind Leicester. Let's just see. Still a little bit early, obviously, to be thinking about top four. But what are we? Yeah, we're five points behind West Ham and four. Chelsea in third on the same points as Manchester United and Liverpool on 20 points. So we're not a million miles away, but it's too early to be thinking about the top four. We just need to get a good run going. And you can see there once again, I mean, if I had a press play match there, I uh, actually I don't wear my glasses when I'm recording, but I probably should be. But I would have a big big problem with being able to see that. I just don't understand why they do that. Alright, we'll go with that in here. I'm actually gonna it might be a risk, but I'm gonna start Calvert Loon and leave a on the bench. We'll bring him on as a an impact sub if we need him. Take Tierney off, give him a rest as well. Leno, we'll give Leno a game. We haven't played him in a while. We want to try and keep him somewhat happy as well. Let's try and make it four wins from four, as I said. A Tottenham game where we came from behind 2 0 down has really boosted our spirits. And obviously, what happened at the end of this first game of this part against Brighton. Ready to provide all the analysis. That was a huge turnaround, two goals in the final three minutes. Right up. It's Arsenal up against Aston Villa. Well, thanks but Villa will not be an easy game now, let me tell you. They're a good team. And a vibrant atmosphere. Oh, part has Pepe is in already. Pepe has put us in front already. Four minutes, what a start. What a start. Back underway, Arsenal with the lead. What a start. Matty Cash, Alexis McAllister, Leon Bailey. He could. That's a foul. Bit of a soft free kick there, but dangerous free kick. Free kicks. This is something I need to research a little bit. Maybe look at a clip on YouTube because I used to be very good at free kicks in FIFA, but I've struggled in the last couple. Understandably, yeah. he wanted to give it no a go. power behind it. Straight at the keeper. Have to look into it a little bit more, I think. What a shocking pass, really. Albert Lewin. Is it his first goal? It is his first goal. He has his first Arsenal goal. As I said, it might have been a little bit of a risk not starting Aubameyang the form he's been in, but Albert Lewin returns the favour. Actually surprised to see it get through to him. The defender went to sleep there, number four. Can't see the name, but he went to sleep a little bit and Calvert Lewin punished him. It's first Arsenal goal. Pretty sure it is, isn't he? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is his first goal for us. He did score in the penalty shootout, but that doesn't count, so. Yeah, one goal in seven concept. matches. McAllister. Hopefully the first of many for our new number nine. Here's Danny Ings. Leon Bailey. Good looking cross. Great ball in. No well defended though by Max Arns. Well the stats don't lie. Arsenal had most well, of no the guard. They've passed it well, Four. their movement's oh. been good, and they've been well worth their Couple of chances lead. there, but just couldn't get it. Here. El Ghazi. Roberto Soriano. How about the cross? And reading it absolutely superbly. 
No, oh, not a great touch there by Calvert Lewin. Allowed the defender to nick it back up. An great save. Great block. I think that could have been a penalty if we left the handballs on for everywhere. I think that hit his chest and then onto Max Aaron's arm. So thankfully that setting has gone off because that would have been a little bit harsh. Look at Thomas Party. He's not used to being up here, but he's gone through. And he's put a 3 0 in front. Wow. End to end stuff. We could have conceded at the other end. Well, instead we've gone straight down and put it in the net, 3 nil up now. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands. Not used to seeing so Party great. running through, but when he got there, so he finished easy. brilliantly. What a good goal that is. Absolutely brilliant finish. So the game continues, and Arsenal cantering to victory now. Finally, starting to show some form in this career it's mode. Over the touch line for what will be a throw in. It's with El Ghazi. Well, he keeps going. Bailey. El Ghazi. Bailey. Good football by here by Aston Villa passed it nicely. On the ball, Roberto Soriano. But well defended. Crossing possibilities. Well done, Max Aarons. It's brilliant. It's going to be 3 0 at half time, which and the referee that, has blown the whistle finally for half time. Yeah, really good stuff there. As I said in the last game, we're finally starting to get into this now, playing some decent football at long last. And it should, from this position, be a handy three points and four wins in a row for us. Love that goalkeeper jersey, actually, the green one. But yeah, hopefully we can keep it going, maybe score a few more in the second half. McGinn. Well, they could run onto it here. <clears throat> Bailey. Oh, great save oh, by Leno. Save. But we've let our keeper down there. He made a brilliant save and we didn't clear it when we had the chance. You'll see it here now. Cracking it and just there and they're actually getting each other's way. I tried to clear it with Irons and Ben White just sort of got in his way. So was hoping to hold on for a clean sheet, but not to be. Jesus damn, make a move, man. Standing like still like a statue. He's got Pepe. the right idea with well, that pass. He can make a four. Does make a four. The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. It's 4 1. Well, here it is again. The little one two starts it all off. And then what's the margin? That's been hit with such power and Yeah, good finish there by Pepe. No time to react. It's a brilliant strike. No chance for the goalie there. Too much power. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number seven, Mikhail Saka. Two replaces. 15 minutes remaining. Yeah, but though, he really did strike it well. Want to hear if he says the name, but... No, he's not going to call it out on the intercom. He called out the away substitution. Odegaard, once again he stopped his run. Nicely cut out. On Tierney. Esri Konsa. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes well, on the we've gone board. from not being able to score goals to scoring nine Space goals in our last goals. three games. Oh, Good save, Leno. So at least we're starting to score there. goals now because that was a big concern for me, particularly because of the difficulty we're playing on. It shouldn't it shouldn't have been as much of a struggle as it was. But there you have it. It's a 4-1 victory for us. Disappointed if you can see that goal. Actually wanted to get a clean sheet for Leno, but a good, good win. Well, Derek, what a good and Dean Smith was. They did congratulates us and, play was and then shakes his head had a real cutting edge. <laughs> unsurprisingly but yeah really good performance there seven goals last two games and as I said nine in the last three so starting to play some football thankfully all right so it's Leicester up next in the Premier League Leicester down in ninth we stay in the eighth position but we're now only a point behind Spurs and we have a game in hand so 
and we have a game in hand on West Ham and Manchester City as well so we could they're on 18 points so if we beat Leicester in the next game we will go up to fourth position ahead of Burnley as well so it's been a really good turnaround but you know four wins in a row will do it for you and obviously we've been scoring lots of goals so hopefully that can will continue but it's eighth against ninth Leicester will not be an easy game but as I said we'll leave that for the next part guys really hope you enjoyed this one if you did you know what to do smash that like button and uh, I will continue to bring this career mode to you and uh, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already that would be greatly appreciated also but until the next part take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon peace